And, and I learned from my dad, who was a lawyer, uh, never ask a question you don't know the answer to. So Mr. Holloman, that was a great question my colleague asked you, and you had a great response. And it says it all. It says it all. This isn't about lawyers. It, you know, what I love about my Republican friend, and I do love a lot about them, they attack lawyers all the time. But when they need one, boy, they get the best one. We all do. So it depends what side of the fence you're on. And when you work for corporations, I'm sure my colleague was rah rah you all the way. The bottom line is what happens to people? Now, my colleague quoted me saying, I'm happy to work about state permits. That's, that's fine. I want to say two things about that. There has to be federal minimum standards. And the problem with the bill that Senators Hoven and Manchin have, there's no federal standard. So people aren't protected. So I'm not going to deal with that issue unless we have minimum protections. That's essential, whether it's a Tosca law or anything else. We have to make sure people are protected. There's some kind of floor. And then if the states want to do more, that's fine with me. The more, the better to protect clean air and water. As I often say, no one's ever asked me, as you pointed out, uh, please uh, weaken our clean water rules. I really don't want to have such pure air or water. Baloney, they want it better. And the other thing that's shaken my view, my, I say to my friend, is the Flint story. Because I did say, I'm very willing to work with a bill that has minimum standards and then the state's permit. But after seeing the corruption in Flint, the out and out corruption, and the corruption, Mr. Holloman, you talked about. I'm going to ask you to expand on that one more time. You pointed out, not that you favor bureaucracy. I never heard you say that. That's what my colleague sort of put words in your mouth. You never even used the word bureaucracy. You said what you saw at the state level was out and out cronyism, to put it in its mildest form. Would you repeat what you said about that? Well, what we saw, and I wouldn't have believed this, Mr. Chairman, I didn't expect this from my past life, frankly, but as soon as we began to enforce the law in North Carolina on behalf of local citizens, and I agree with you, local communities need to maintain their ability to defend themselves. That's where the authority needs to be, in the people, not just in the government. But as soon as we started uh, enforcing the law, in my experience, when I grew up in Oconee County, South Carolina, when law-abiding people report law-breaking to the law enforcement authorities, I expect the law enforcement authorities to communicate and work with the law-abiding people who reported it. But what we discovered in official documents is soon, <laughs> almost as soon as these events were reported to the state and the utility, the utilities lobbyist and its lawyers immediately began meeting with the state law enforcement authorities. They, didn't, they weren't meeting with us, they were meeting with them to come up with the strategy to, strategy to do us in. And the very things we reported later formed the basis of the criminal guilty pleas to federal crimes in response to charges brought by the United States Department of Justice. And as I said before, 17 days after those Duke Energy companies pleaded guilty 18 times to nine crimes and were placed on federal nationwide criminal probation, their executives were hosted at a private dinner at the governor's mansion with the state's chief environmental law enforcement officer, which had pending at that time a number of charges against Duke Energy. Well, Mr. Holloman, I just want to say you are the best witness that I've ever had on my side of an issue uh, for many reasons. You're very articulate. You work for the business side of it, you see the picture, and you're motivated by doing what's right. And I hope that we'll keep that in mind before we pass weakening amendments to the coal ash rule that would, without minimum standards, minimum standard, allow these state people 
with all their cronyism to move forward. And by the way, federal agencies are also, they're not protected completely from this type of cronyism, but it's a little bit easier to monitor them from here. Thank you. Is there